My name is Roxanne. Um, I am a third year vet student at Murdoch um, and I'm from California, just outside of Los Angeles. Basically, I applied to go straight into the vet program. Um, I received a response back saying that, you know, I didn't necessarily have the perfect grades that they needed to go straight in. However, you know, I wasn't just like kind of shut down, which was really actually refreshing. They basically told me about this opportunity to start the animal science program for a year, which is the exact same first year as vet. Um, and then I could reapply to the vet program. And so I basically just decided to take the chance. And um, I, you know, I came over here not knowing anybody, um, but you know what, it was really easy to kind of relax and get you know, get into the, the groove of things. And I studied really hard for that first year. Um, and I got, you know, good grades and I tried to work on extra um, experience outside of studying and um, I applied and I got in. So I was able to go straight from my first year into second year vet and I didn't really miss out anything. So actually one of my favorite rooms we're in right now, um, this is the anatomy museum and um, if you can see, like there's a bunch of specimens and really great things to study off of. Um, in my second year, last year, we had two really full on anatomy units and this was basically like my home base. I spent so much time here learning about all of the different, you know, bones and muscles and stuff. And this was a great way to actually see it um, and experience it. And helped me more than anything. Um, and this is just like, I think one of the places that I love about Murdoch, you know, up on like the main campus up the hill, um, we have all of these brand new food facilities, which is great, again, if you're studying all day and you need some sustenance, um, coffee, great coffee. <laughs> um, and the library too is actually a great place to go. Um, I really, I kind of split my time between the vet library, which is a smaller, um, more quiet library and then I can also do a lot of group things and and group projects and stuff in the main library which makes it really easy. One of the great things that Murdoch has as well is their own clinic. Um, it's a, we have an emergency clinic 24 hours. Um, we also have an equine clinic that's 24 hours um, and all of these specialists that work specifically in those um, you know fields and and it's open to the public, but us as students, we actually get to experience that and get to work there. And um, fifth year, again, you spend some time doing that. I'm actually lucky enough, I have a, just you know a, a vet nurse assistant position um, at the emergency clinic. So um, I get to spend time there and I get to work with academics who get to teach me later on in these years. Um, but I get to also experience you know what it's like for the fourth and fifth years when they do come in there. Um, and I see, you know, it's very hands-on. You're doing a lot of the procedures. You're doing you know of course with support and supervision but you get to do that you get to practice those practical components which you know makes I think you more confident um, and ready to kind of go out into the world and do stuff and um, I you know I love talking with the fourth years and the fifth years who say you know how lucky we are at Murdoch to have these facilities. Um, you know, we do have, like I said, we have huge, you know, x-rays and MRI machines that a lot of universities or a lot of vet clinics don't really have. And so getting to experience that as a student and getting to learn kind of that baseline is really, really important and really helpful for us in the future and being able to understand different components of the vet life and the vet career and how we can help animals. The Murdoch Veterinary Student Association, or the MVSA, is a student-run, basically like a volunteer organization um, that the vet school and the vet students have put together. Um, and it's essentially, um, the students can connect a lot easier with academics. Um, it's also a fun way to actually get involved and to kind of it makes us feel more like a family. You know, we have not only, you know, peers that we can look up to and talk to, but we have a lot of upper years who help us through, you know, courses and give us advice and stuff. Um, we also plan events, which is really fun. You know, it makes vet school less like vet school. You know, we're not just here to study. We're here for the entire experience. We're here to be able to meet people because we're going to be able to work with them in the future. You know, we want to build relationships with colleagues and, and being able to do that now in vet school and kind of go through the hardships of vet school together, it makes it so much easier. Um, my role personally, I'm the international student liaison officer. So um, I basically just help kind of connect international students that are still, that are actually here at the vet school already, as well as, you know, I'm 
basically available to answer any questions for international students who are interested in coming to Murdoch and applying for VET especially. Um, I love it. I really like connecting with people and I love answering questions, especially, you know, I'm happy to give advice especially in a program that I have really benefit from. And um, I would love to kind of share that experience and, and hopefully help other people have that same experience. I have without a doubt enjoyed my time here. Um, like I said, my first year, it took me a while to kind of get settled and to build friendships. But, you know, I feel like I've made some of the best friends here. And um, not only that, but I've built up these relationships with, you know, lectures, with people in the community. Um, I think that helped me not only grow as a person, but help prepare me for being a vet. And um, I, I feel really lucky that I get to have these experiences and this opportunity. And, um, you know, one of my, I think, again, I think one of my favorite moments was probably being out on the farm, being <laughs> with these baby cows, and they would literally follow me everywhere. And they, I had nothing, I had no milk, I had no <laughs> treats, but they just wanted to be near me. And, you know, having that kind of connection with this little adorable thing, it's just, it's been, yeah, it's awesome. And, you know, it, using a lot of our study materials, um, we do a lot of, you know, even in our early years, um, while it is really theory based, we do a lot of um, you know labs and dissections and practical stuff. They really want us to be able to have tangible experiences with our you know theoretical lectures and um, to have that. That was really amazing too. Um, that's definitely something that helped me succeed in these classes because I had that experience and I had that kind of memory to jog if I remembered I was touching this bone or I was touching this muscle and you know it just made it that much easier. I am extremely passionate about animals and about conservation as well you know I've spent some time doing different um, conservation projects in Africa um, as well as looking at wildlife um, and I would love to use my skills as a vet and as an animal advocate to, to work in conservation and whether that's going to be my sole job I don't know but you know if I can have some sort of role in that and and of course you know welfare is a huge huge thing for me and um, we have great you know resources and great lecturers here who are very passionate about welfare and I've had I've made those connections with those lectures and I've been able to discuss things and it's really opened my eyes to things that I didn't necessarily I wasn't really aware of them and so um, I really hope to use those and to use you know not only my vet knowledge and skills that I get to learn here but you know the people skills that I get to learn here you know communication and being a well-rounded person is huge in the vet community and it's something that I think Murdoch really does well in focusing on and um, yeah I'm, I just I feel like because of this, like I will be able to go out in the world and be able to do vet work and conservation work and make a difference. Um, and I also have, I mean, I have great classmates now who you know, share similar passions. And so I'm excited to be able to do that with them in the future.